In this video, we're going to talk about infrared spectroscopy or IR spectroscopy for short. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain the basic principles of IR spectroscopy, interpret IR spectra. Why is IR spectroscopy useful? Well, we can see molecules, so we need a way of identifying the molecules and their structures. IR spectroscopy is an identification method used to get information about structures of molecules. More precisely, IR helps to determine which functional groups are present in molecules. Let's first look at the electromagnetic spectrum, which is the range of all electromagnetic radiation. Infrared or IR radiation is this part of the spectrum with wavelengths of approximately 700 nanometers to 1 millimeter. So how does IR radiation helps us identify functional groups? All molecules are in constant vibration. In other words, the bonds are not stiff. Rather, they can stretch and bend. Now, when a molecule absorbs radiation that matches the frequency of one of its vibration, an increased amplitude for the vibration is observed. These vibrations occur at a specific IR wavelength and depend on the functional groups present. Thus, Depending on the frequency absorbed, we can get information about the molecule's structure, specifically its functional groups. The equipment used for IR is called IR spectrometer. The sample is irradiated with IR radiation. The radiation interacts with the molecule and depending on the molecule, some of the radiation gets absorbed and some will reach the detector. This generates a spectrum for us to interpret. Here is a sample of an IR spectrum. The horizontal axis is the wave number, which is 1 over the wavelength, and thus the unit is reciprocal centimeter. The vertical axis corresponds to transmittance, which is the percentage of radiation that reaches the detector. So, for example, here the transmittance is 100%. This means that all the radiation at this wavelength is reaching the detector, without being absorbed. On the other hand, here we see a peak, meaning some of the wavelength has been absorbed. So there's a particular functional group absorbing that specific wavelength. As you can imagine, molecules could have many different bond stretching and bending motions. Thus, we never interpret the IR spectrum fully. In fact, the region from 1500 and below is called the fingerprint region, which is very complicated, has many peaks, and thus we rarely interpret it. Instead, we only look for specific peaks corresponding to specific functional groups. You can find a table of wavelengths and the corresponding functional groups in any organic chemistry textbook or online. Here, only part of it is shown as an example. Let's look at an example. This is the IR spectrum of acidic acid. Here, we have a peak around 3000, which corresponds to OH of carboxylic group. In other words, once this wavelength hits the OH bond, it will get absorbed as it matches the frequency of its vibration and so it won't reach the detector. This sharp peak around 1600 represents the carbon-oxygen double bond of carbonyl group. So we identified the two most important functional groups of acidic acid. This is how IR helps us to get information about molecule structures. Let's look at another one. This is the IR for one hexene. This wavelength around, at around 1650 is the carbon-carbon double bond. And this wavelength at 3100 corresponds to the vinylic hydrogen. A few points to remember. IR does not tell us the precise structure. It tells us about functional groups only. How is this useful? Well, let's say you have a molecule and you know its formula is C3H6O. IR helps to determine what kind of oxygen this is. Is it an ether? Is it a carbonyl group? Or hydroxyl? Another use of IR is to monitor the progress of reaction. For example, if you're performing a reaction involving reduction of aldehyde to alcohol, what changes in the IR would indicate this reaction has occurred? Exactly! The disappearance of carbonyl peak and appearance of OH peak will tell us the reaction has been successful. 
Lastly, keep in mind that IR does not tell us where the functional group is located or how many of them there are. Just because we see an alcohol peak doesn't mean we have one OH. You need to look at the formula or use other identification techniques to determine that. Let's review quickly. IR is a spectroscopy technique used to determine what kind of functional groups are present in the molecule. Each specific functional group absorbs a certain wavelength of IR matching its frequency of motion. By observing which frequencies of infrared radiation are absorbed and which are not, it is possible to determine the functional groups a molecule contains. Thank you for watching.